is clearly stated throughout God's holy Bible that he made the difference between man and woman for his own wondrous purpose. In chapter and verse again and again, his word is clear, his purpose righteous. Woman is the mate of man. She is to be his wife, to bear his children and to nurture them. She is to stand beside her husband to follow him. Whither thou goest, I shall go. And as we pronounce in the ceremony of holy matrimony, she is to love him, to honor him, to obey him. Now and forever, until death, do they part. For a faithful, caring wife shall always be the foundation of the home. And her goodness, the measure of her marriage. Amen. more than you usually take. Well, that's what I'm taking this week. I got four kids, Mr. Gresham. I mean, I don't I got crap still, Will. You want to work here? Of course, Mr. Gresham. I mean, it's just that I'm... Just what? That's the name. We we're looking for work. So I'm open. You remember me? No. How come you boys ain't been drafted? They ain't called me yet. My legs lame. And you want to work in a mill? <laughs> we can work all right. Gresham, last fall you well, said... I'm headed down the saloon. Now, you boys want to buy me a drink? Maybe we can talk about things. said you'd give us jobs. I said we could talk about it. It seemed more than that, Mr. Gresham. You said if we bought you a drink, you'd talk to us about some work. Okay. There is no work. <laughs> you lousy liar. You what? Come on. Try something. I'll blow your head off. Nobody, nope. nobody meant any harm, Mr. Gresham. Get the hell out of my sight.
Julian? Yeah. Were you coming back? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh? Last night? Yeah, they scare me. Oh, they're just dogs. They're wild dogs, hungry and mean. I'm starved. Now you be sure and go straight to your Uncle Shep's. Why can't we move into town? I miss you all week. Oh? Yeah, and Blanche makes us study all the time. Well, school's important. Now, enough of that. It's only during the week that makes the weekends more fun. Where's my hat, damn it? All I did was clean it and put it in here where you always keep it. You coming back tonight? No. When? The children have school Monday morning. I'll be back to take them. You just have them ready for me. I go wherever I want. Leave me alone. And keep this damn thing out of my sight. <laughs> Mama? Mama? Hey, 
hate them dogs. Mama! Damn them animals. What do the dogs eat, Mama? Well, they carry off whatever they can. Like Vinia's baby? Yes. Gresham, he's dead. He, he's been killed. There's somebody out there. Your man, he knows my husband. Yes, sir. Well, I need your help. My boat's gone, and, and your boy. Can you send your boy for help? You got the gun. For God's sake, help me. Send your boy to town for help. Send my boy out there, and them dogs running wild again. I can't do that. 
Well, well let, let me come inside and we'll think of something. I'm sorry about your trouble, Miss Gresham. I can't help you. Eldridge, Eldridge you get inside. Can't take her. Vinia? Vinia, you can't just leave me here. Them dogs took off my baby. You know that? Yes. You know I asked for help? I asked your man to let my husband off to help us look. Yes, I know. I'm... I had to do it alone. Go out there and find that baby. He's all chewed up. I brought him home here. I did the burying myself. I dug the hole. I said the words over him. Well, what can I do? Go on to the ferry. It ain't but two more miles. You got the gun, you'll be all right. No, Vinnie, Vinnie, go! There's somebody out there. I'm Please. sorry. Vinnie, no. Go on. I got my babies here.
this Frank Gresham's house? Do you know my husband? No, ma'am. Uh, my cousin said that Mr. Gresham might have work. Who might that be? That's uh, Ledell Phillips over in Jasper. I know him. When did you see him last? Oh, I saw him yesterday. I uh, saw the new baby. Lila says to say hello. Something wrong? What? I seen you in the woods with their gun, and uh, now, now I'm wondering you need any help. No, no, it's okay. Have you been here long? I came over the ferry in daylight. Oh, you look hungry. Yes, ma'am. I, I pulled a few of your grains. Oh. I was real hungry. I'm sorry. Well, it's all right. Will you want to come on in? I'll make you some breakfast. Thank you. So, so you don't think Mr. Gresham will be home today at all? Oh, well, that's not likely. They're busy at the mill, what with the war and all. Yeah, that's why I thought there might be work. Why didn't you just look for Mr. Gresham at the mill? Oh, I did. Yesterday. He wasn't there. They said they didn't think it'd be likely that he'd be there today either. Them dogs been out there long? Have you seen them? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I had to fight them off all this morning. Once they get a scent. Listen, you could do me a favor. You name it, ma'am. Back in Paris, when you go to see my husband, can you find Sheb Shepard? He's my brother. Yes, ma'am. I intend to head back this morning. Please tell him that I want to see him just as soon as he can. Okay? Okay. Well, I mean, you can leave that. I'll do it. No, no trouble. No trouble. You sure you're all right? I can take care of myself. Well, I'll be off then. Uh, Sheb Shepard. He's the minister. Yes, ma'am, I'll tell him. And uh, if Mr. Gresham comes by again, you tell him about me, Baston Morris, and I'm looking for work. I will, I surely will. Thank you. Oh, Baston Morris. You want to take that axe along with you for the dogs? You could just leave it with my brother. Oh, no, ma'am. I don't think I need it. Thank you. Gresham, don't I? Just stay still. All right. I don't mean you no harm. And the axe? I have it. Oh. Well, what do you want with me? You're younger than I imagine. Oh. Now, Miss Gresham, oh. no, I'm not going to hurt oh. you. I don't, uh, let's just go on in the house oh. now where we can be safe. Come on now. 
Miss Gresham, come, come on now. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on now. Let's get inside. Hi there, kids. How we doing? Fine, Sheriff. The dogs are back again. Oh, they're just dogs. Well, Dad usually chases them. Well, I'm sure he'll do that when he gets the time. Don't worry. about me? I never hurt nothing. I didn't have to, but I always done what had to be done. So please, ma'am, it's no, no trouble. Else I have to do something I don't want to do, and I will. I'll do it. And that pained me more than you know. So, did you fight with Pink in town? I wanted to talk to him. But one of the other boys, he got mad about the drinks and all. And he started to fight. Mr. Gresham pulled out this pistol. I think he wanted to shoot us. I mean, I think he was hoping to, you know what I mean? He could be like that sometimes. Make you feel real small. He was an evil man. But still, I tried to reason with him. I come over here real early this morning. I took his boat over and then took the other one back across and then rode back over myself. Last night, last night I followed him after he left the saloon. I saw where he went. There was a girl. I'm sorry. I thought you'd know about that anyway. I wanted to talk to him. I waited down along that path, but the dogs come and I had to back off. And then Mr. Gresham come. And I stopped him down yonder. I said, Mr. Gresham, I'm Bassin Morris, Liddell's cousin. He just laughed, <laughs> called, called me trash. Said I was trash, just like my cousin, just like my cousin's wife. He said things about Lila. About a baby? He said it was his baby. That's right. Now, I'm sorry, Miss Gresham, but you have to know why. And I said, I said to him, I said, you take that back. And he just laughed again, told me I was a dumb son of a bitch. Started to reach up under his coat for his pistol. I had the axe. I just swung it. There it was. I hardly didn't even. But it was done.
God Almighty, I didn't mean it. I swear. Maybe. I'm not for killing Miss Gresham. Lord knows that. All I wanted was a job. They'll be coming to look for him. Not for a while, I suppose. I sent his boat to drift down the river. Still, they'll come. One day, two. That'll be time enough. But they won't have me. Uh-uh. Never jail. Never. I can understand that. Locking up a bee in us. I'm not going to forgive you nothing. Nothing you did or might do. Blessed Master, we give thanks for this food which you have set before us, for our bountiful garden, and for these our children who are here with us now. We pray that they will grow in your service and be deserving of the love you offer so freely to us all. Bless their mother and father and our whole congregation. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Sounds like they're out at the smokehouse. Maybe they'll get in. They can't. Fix that. Tomorrow we'll take care of them. We should have done that today. It's cool enough out there. He'll be all right. Cold never bothered Pink. No, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I know that. I just said it. Blanket and a lantern. What? I need a warm blanket and a lantern to keep the dogs off me. You going outside? Yes, ma'am. That way I'll know where you are, but you won't know about me. It'll be safer that way.
By God, I'll finish with those dogs started right here now. You ever got the good sense I thought you had? If you'd have told me about that boat, I'd have been on it myself and been gone from your life. You wouldn't have gone. It was a dumb thing to do, stupid thing to do. You should have told me about that boat. They follow you, don't they? Yeah, we're learning to get along. the kids now. Kids, would you come over here for just a minute? You children know Chef Walker. This is Chef Dunlap from Oakman. He wants to ask you a few questions. Well, hello, kids. It's uh, Bessie and Warren, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. I hear those dogs are over near your place again. Yes, yes, sir. When was the last time uh, you saw your daddy? Friday in the evening, about six. And your mama is uh, over there now? Yeah, she's always All right, there. that's enough, children. You can go miss your bus. Go on now. Don't be late. I think you we have a good day at school, you hear? Right. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's go inside and talk there with this, all right? You want to be getting out of those wet clothes. I'll go chop some wood and make a fire. Do that. You're damn good with the access for sure. There's no call for that, Mrs. Gresham. The way I see it, you owe me. Owe oh, you? I saved your life down by that river. I'm cold. We got some digging to do today. Yes. Looks like pig's boat. Go get the sheriff. Shotgun. I'm not a killer. Well, still, my son might turn on me. I'm glad you didn't. What difference does that make? I got my reasons. Hold still. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Where'd you come from? I told you. Oh. No, I mean before that. Oh, all about. Tennessee, Georgia, Illinois. I rode the rails in bad times. Well, didn't you come from somewhere? I suppose. Mississippi. I was born in Mississippi. On the river. My daddy made whiskey. Don't you have a wife and children? Once. Well? Well, 
are you from? That's none of your business. Mm-hmm. Your daddy locked your mama up in the sharecropping shack for two years. Just like some runaway slave or something. She lived just long enough to testify against him. She died of the consumption she got in that shack. Your daddy died in jail, and you wound up behind some mules like a sharecropper. Oh, in the name of God. I know lots of things about you, Miss Gresham. Who are you? I told you. You got a cut on your neck. Lift up. Why well, lock her up? She tried to run off. My brother arranged it. Have a feel like running away? That's none of your business. Yes. You love your children? Every woman does. Did your mom? Mm, she loved us. She just hated him. What about your family? Like that? My wife took my kids away with her. Where'd she go? I don't know. That's what I was looking for. Oh, not work? I thought you said you were looking for work. I was planning. I was planning to work at the mill. My wife wasn't a bad woman. Just a woman. My daddy might have said something like that. People do what they think they have to do, Miss Gresham. Not, uh, not necessarily what's right. Like what you're going to do? Yes, ma'am. Like your daddy, like my wife, like Mr. Gresham, and like you, I guess, if you had the chance. We have to take care of what's in the smokehouse. You want me to do that? It's my husband. I'll do it. The right way, too. Ben? Frank? Where'd you find it? Over there. Yeah? On that mud bank? On that island. Right. 
I see. What's wrong? Just do what I say, woman, before they get here. Who gets here? Oh, damn you, did I tell you? Are you are you with me or against me? Oh, hell, I don't care now. I'll take them and you both. Mother two is one's the sheriff from Paris. The other one's the sheriff from Oakman. Oakman, you're from Oakman. They don't seem suspicious. That's good. No guns out. Well, how do they know? They don't. And if you want your brother to stay alive, you make damn sure it stays that way. You hear me? I'm gonna be in this room. I'm gonna have both barrels of this gun pointed right at his head. You just get rid of it. I'll be listening. Maggie, you in there? Hello, Maggie. Chef. Everything okay? Yes, of course. Is something wrong? No, dear, nothing. Is Pink home? No, he's not. Are you all right, sister? Yes. Of course I'm all right. There's nothing wrong with the children. No, of course not. Can I come in? You know Sheriff Walker, this here is Sheriff Dunlap from Oakman. Ma'am. Gentlemen, Sheriff, the house isn't tidy. The boys can wait out here, so long as everything's okay. I'm fine, really. I, I don't know what you think is wrong. Did you hurt yourself? Oh, cutting some kindling. It's you scratch nothing. Scratch your neck, too? It's just the wood, a splinter. You look mighty formal today, sister, all dressed up. Well, I saw you come in with company. I wanted to look decent. Well, you certainly do. So Pink ain't around. I told you no. You try the mill? First thing, but he ain't there. He hadn't been since Sunday morning. Well, that's not unusual for Pink. You know that. Is, is something wrong? Are, are you sure the children are all right? No, I swear, sister, the children are fine. The people at the mill have been talking to me about Pink. This isn't the first time he didn't show for work, you know. Well, they say <clears throat> that if it keeps up, they'll have to find a new foreman. I haven't seen him since Friday night. We looked for him in all the usual places. With his girl? I always thought it was his drinking, but there have been women all along. Isn't that right, brother? I didn't come here to talk about that. Answer me. There have been some. You never did without. You sound like Daddy. Everybody sounds like Daddy. Thank you very much, brother. What I know or don't know about Pink may not matter now. That's what I come over here to talk to you about, about Pink and Baston Morris. Who? A man named Baston Morris from Oakman. Now, there's no cause to be upset yet. I guess it all had to come out. What? What? Had to come out, brother. Sheb. This Morris fella, they, um... They say he and Pink had an argument in poses on Sunday night. Pink argues with everyone. Reading the scriptures. It's good.
good. Maggie, they say this fellow Morris took an axe to his wife and two kids over in Oakman. They say he was blaming Pink for causing it, saying that his wife was planning to run off over here to perish and Pink was going to keep her. Sorry, sister, I truly am. Now, they only say he done what they say. Maybe he didn't. What do you think? He found a pink's boat down river near town. Did he ever take it down there? Yeah, sometimes. Could be he left it there. Maybe it just got loose and drifted down. We called ahead to see if this Morris fellow might have jumped on the river boat this morning. There hadn't been a train through, but we figured one way or another he, uh, he headed uh, down the river away from Oakman and here. There's people out looking. I don't imagine he got a chance to cross over to this side anyway. No, I imagine not. You come back with me now until this all passes. We have a place for you with Bessie and Warren. No! No, uh, when Pink comes home, I should be here. I thought you might say that. Them dogs been a bother? Oh, some. Nothing I can't handle. Pink's guns are here. I know Not how to Not here. Use... Hadn't been. Things will work out, sister. We've been through worse. Blanche and the kids will be over tomorrow to stay with you. No. No, I'm fine, Chev. I swear it, the children need school. No arguments. In the morning, then. Blanche will bring over some dinner. Please listen to me, Chev. Watch by the bushes at the top of the path. I think I saw the dogs there this morning. All right. Let's check over there. Nothing here. Let's go. Oh, shit. Sit down. I took it, Mrs. Gresham. The Derby. Last night. I took it last night. Oh, Jesus. Oh, ma'am, I know what you're thinking of me. Well, then just go ahead. Just go ahead and just do it. Do what? Whatever you're going to do, but please, just don't hurt my children. I'm, I'm, Mrs. Gresham, I'm not going to hurt your children. Now, what'd your brother say about me? You heard him. No, he. but well, I, I heard him, but I want to hear what you heard. He said you killed your wife no, and that's your no, children. No, 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 it's not what he said. I heard him. He said that they said that they think I, I killed them. Miss Gresham, I was, Miss Gresham, I killed your husband. I told you that straight out. I killed him, and if I have to burn in hell for it, I will. But I didn't kill my family. My own family, Miss Gresham. My God, my son was 13 years old. My little girl, my little girl was seven years old. She was seven years old on, on Saturday when I found them. Listen to me. On Saturday, when I found them after he did it. Oh, God, I can't even think straight no more. Are you saying that Pink... I didn't come here for no goddamn job. Miss Gresham, I came here for your husband. For Pink Gresham. To kill him. It was last fall, September. Mr. Gresham comes through Oakman looking for man for to work up at the mill. He said the war had taken all kinds of men, enlisted and drafted and all. He couldn't find enough to fill the place. So I invited him to stay with us while he was in Oakland. And he promised me a job. He stayed with us a week. He kept flashing his money around, buying 
presents for the children, Victoria and me. And I guess all that money and gifts and stuff were just too much for her. Lord God, I loved her. And I didn't see. Then I didn't find out about him and my wife till Saturday. I never got over here to the mill. I took sick. By spring, I knew I'd best get me a regular job, so I told Victoria on Saturday morning, I said, I'm heading over to Paris to sign on at the mill. She just about damn near split her side laughing. She said, uh, I'm heading over to Paris myself. I said, what? She says she's coming over to Paris to live with another man. And I says to her, you, are you crazy, woman? You can't do that. You can't leave me. You can't take our children away. Just like there's nothing she says. You're gonna lock me up as them tried and died in jail. That's how you knew about my mama. I said, this man tell you to run off with him? She says he as much as did. And she starts to show me this letter she wrote to him with some talk about that. So I straight out asked her, I said, what kind of man, what kind of man tell you to take his wife and his children away? She says, a man with money enough to do it right. She said, Pink Gresham was that man. I felt so small. This letter says she's coming to him in Paris. And I let that man in my house. I went right out the door, down the road to the color folks. And I got me some corn and whiskey, I guess. They give me some Dutch courage. So I come back and beg her not to leave me. And when I got back to the house, my God, they just were so kind of fat. And the whiskey had me, but it was clear that somebody tried to stop me from leaving. And that was blood and, and things all over the place. God, and hell, he took, he took an axe, he took an axe to my children. Anyone could have been a No, ma'am, no, ma'am. He wanted to keep him from coming to him. He didn't really want her. He used her. That's all he wanted. He came over to stop her. Maybe she warned him or something. You know, she'd make a fool of him. Maybe he tried to talk to her. You don't know for sure. I know, I know. I'm nobody's fool. I know it takes an hour and a half to walk over to Oakman. And I found them at dusk. When's the last time you saw Mr. Gresham? Well, it was Friday. It was Friday night. Uh-huh, and I found, I found him Sunday up at the mill and later on at the saloon. But I checked around Mr. Gresham and nobody saw him on Saturday. And I wanted to talk to him. I wanted him to look me right in the face. But he didn't even remember who I was. And then he pulled that pistol on me and he wanted to use it. And I was convinced then, I'm no fool, ma'am. That's why you used an axe on him. That's right. So he'd know. Why didn't you tell someone? 
when I found him, I couldn't believe it. I just, I just couldn't believe it. I just wanted to get to him. You didn't bury them, then? No, Miss Gresham. I knew I couldn't go back. How could I prove it? Who would believe me? God's honest truth. Oh. You want to rest a while? Oh, I think not. It's getting late now. I'm sorry about your family. I truly am. It's my children. Here? Yes. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of... You're very beautiful. No, wait. I'm get sorry. away, get away. Wait, I didn't. Uh, uh... Are, you, are you hurt? Just go away from me. I thought I. Just leave me alone. What in God's name do you think I am? He took my wife from me. He owes me. He owes you? Killing Pink isn't enough? I don't know. Well, then what's going to be enough? It's getting dark soon. You want to say the words over while I cover them? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. <gasps> Get behind the 
behind me. Stay behind me.
you do help my grief. And tomorrow, which way up river? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Tomorrow my sister-in-law will be here with my children. Then things will be right. Oh, no. You want my children? Yes, ma'am. My children? They're looking for me downstream. Now, that's what your brother said. Tomorrow when the children come, we'll have a boat. We'll go upstream. You want Bessie and Warren to go with you? And you. It's only right. You like this. This. Us together. I can tell that. And you want to get out of this damn jail. I got rid of that son of a bitch we put in the hole today. Now what else do you want? Did you come here for that? No, I came here for him. For what he'd done to me. But when I saw you, I knew it was right. We can't go with you. sister-in-law is coming across with the children. She don't mean a thing to me. Take my meaning. Ladies and Gresham from Over Parish Way. How do? Mr. Gresham's looking for a wife. Ship. He's a right pretty young girl. I'm sure you'd like her, Mr. Gresham. I think we can 
do business, Shep. Good morning, Mrs. Gresham. There'll be a real fine day to travel. Uh, you want to be getting dressed. I got some coffee up and some bacon. But uh, no eggs, I'm afraid. The dogs had their way last night. Any idea when they'll come? No. Can't you just leave and leave us be? That was settled last night, wasn't it? No. Yes, it was. We can't replace you. We can't be your family. The children won't understand. They'll hate you. I love them. You heard what my brother said. The whole county's looking for you. We'll only slow you down. They're looking for one man alone. They're not looking for a man with his wife and children. Uh -huh. They're coming. Now, just do as I say, all right? I want you out on the out on the porch when they come up the hill now. Let's go. Well, it's cold. Let me get something to wear. to the head of the path. I'll wait up here. I want him up on the porch before they see me. I don't want him running back to the river. Do, sister. The children are safe. Well, of course Mother. they're safe. You don't think I'd put them in jeopardy? He might have hurt Blanche. What's wrong with you? He wasn't going to get close enough to hurt anyone. Come over here, boy. So that's how that was him yesterday. This here is one mighty brave boy, Maggie. He saw you. Says he saw you dig a grave. Then he ran home to his mama, Vinia. God bless you, child. Your mama, too. Come on. 
Come on. Turn them off up river. Can't you just catch him? Do you have to kill him? Go inside. We'll talk there. Go on. You were going to shoot him down in cold blood. I couldn't... The children... Lord, help me. That man is a killer. A maniac. He killed your husband. He killed his wife and two little children. That's not true. What? I said that's not true. Pink did it. Pink killed his family. Morris, he told you that? Yes, he did. He told me that. He told me that Pink did it on Saturday. She was coming... Mor Morris's wife was coming over here to perish. Pink was going to leave me. No, dear sister. No, that isn't the way it was, not at all. Pink was with me all day Saturday. He was with you? Yes. You see, the people at the mill had come to me. They had a problem with Pink. Besides it being away too much, some of the men were complaining that Pink was shaking them down. The owners wanted me to talk to him, otherwise they were going to fire him. We spent the whole day talking about it. The whole day, Maggie. Gaston Morris told no, me that No, it was a lie, a lie. There was a witness. A colored man. Morris came to him for some homemade liquor. He stole the man's mule. The man followed him, hoping to get the mule back. When he came to Morris's house, he saw what happened. Everything. He was afraid, but he he came to the sheriff in Oakman last night. You all right, sister? I think so. Yes. We've come across upriver. We thought we could get a clear shot at him, but we didn't figure that you were. I'm sorry, Chef. I truly am. I thought. So I see. I'm going to see how things are out there. Why don't you fix something warm for that boy? He looks hungry. You hungry, boy? Yes, ma'am. He can't have got away. He was cut off all around. Damn it! If he gets inland, we've lost him. Where's the others? Got him up and down the river. Some's working inland and all along that ridge. All right, keep spreading out. I feel he's here. He's got to be. Let me get you some more bacon. He's back, man. Who's back? The man he was with in the woods yesterday. Are you sure it's him? Yes, ma'am. He's gone now. Listen to me. Get up. Now, easy. You walk real slow. You go into the pantry over there. Yes, ma'am. Now? Yes. You go now. You close that door and don't come out until I tell you. can't get away now. You should have swum the river. <laughs> they ain't too smart. I was halfway up from the river by the time they was going down. I'll come back for you. Pink didn't do it. He done it, I say so. No, Pink didn't do it. It don't matter who held the axe. He done it. Not me. Let's go now. 
I see it. Let's go. You fire that, they'll be here in a minute. you to stay here with us. I have to go. I really do. You know, I never meant for things to be the way they were. In the city, there'll be work. We shall give Pink a proper grave. Sheb, I'm leaving. There's nothing to keep me here now. I told Vinnie she can have the house, she can have anything she wants. You'll see to that? Yes. And what will you find, Maggie? We're your only family. What Daddy did to Mama was wrong, and what you did to me when you gave me to Pink, that was wrong, too. I only meant for you to be You cared sold for. me like a piece of property. I'm nobody's property. Not now. I never thought. I never meant for you to be kept over there that way. I'm going to see that Bessie and Warren never have to live that way. Never. Maggie, all aboard!
Really? Yeah. Were you coming back? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh? Last night? Yeah, they scare me. Oh, they're just dogs. They're wild dogs, hungry and mean. I'm starved. Now you be sure and go straight to your Uncle Shep's. Why can't we move into town? I miss you all week. Oh? Yeah, and Blanche makes us study all the time. Well, school's important. Now enough of that. It's only during the week that makes the weekends more fun. Where's my hat, damn it? All I did was clean it and put it in here where you always keep it. You coming back tonight? No. When? The children have school Monday morning. I'll be back to take them. You just haven't ready for me. have to go to town? I go wherever I want. Leave me alone. And keep this damn thing out of my sight. Mama? Hate them dogs. 
dogs. Mama! Damn them animals. What do the dogs eat, Mama? Well, they carry off whatever they can. Like Vinia's baby? Yes. between man and woman for his own wondrous purpose. In chapter and verse again and again, his word is clear, his purpose righteous. Woman is the mate of man. She is to be his wife, to bear his children and to nurture them. She is to stand beside her husband to follow him. 
whither thou goest, I shall go. And as we pronounce in the ceremony of holy matrimony, she is to love him, to honor him, to obey him. Now and forever, until death, do they part. For a faithful, caring wife shall always be the foundation of the home. And her goodness, the measure of her marriage. Amen. more than you usually take. Well, that's what I'm taking this week. I got four kids, Mr. Gresham. I mean, I don't got crap still, Will. You want to work here? Of course, Mr. Gresham. I mean, it's just that I'm... Just what? That's the name. We we're looking for work. So I'm open. You remember me? No. How come you boys ain't been drafted? They ain't called me yet. My legs lame. And you want to work in a mill? <laughs> we can work all right. Better, Mr. Gresham. Last fall, you well, said... I'm headed down the saloon. Now, you boys want to buy me a drink? Maybe we can talk about things. said you'd give us jobs. I said we could talk about it. It seemed more than that, Mr. Gurdon. You said if we bought you a drink, you'd talk to us about some work. Okay. There is no work. <laughs> you lousy liar. You know what? Come on. Try something. I'll blow your head off. Nobody, nobody, nobody meant any harm, Mr. Gresham. Get the hell out of my sight.
Maggie Gresham. I know who you are. What you want? I, I, I need your help. My husband, Mr. Gresham, he's dead. He, he's been killed. There's somebody out there. Your man, he knows my husband. Yes, sir. Well, I need your help. My boat's gone, and, and your boy. Can you send your boy for help? You got the gun. For God's sake, help me. Send your boy to town for help. Send my boy out there and them dogs running wild again. I can't do that. Well, well let, let me come inside and we'll think of something. I'm sorry about your trouble, Miss Gresham. I can't help you. Eldridge, Elder, get inside. Here, yeah, take her. Vinia? Vinia, you can't just leave me here. Them dogs took off my baby. You know that? Yes. You know I asked for help? I asked your man to let my husband off to help us look. Yes, I know. I'm... I had to do it alone. Go out there and find that baby. He's all chewed up. I brought him home here. I did the burying myself. I dug the hole. I said the words over him. Well, what can I do? Go on to the ferry. It ain't but two more miles. You got the gun, you'll be all right. Oh, no, Vinnie, Vinnie, go! There's somebody out there. I'm Please. sorry. Vinnie, no. Go on. I got my babies here.
Is this Frank Gresham's house? Do you know my husband? No, ma'am. Uh, my cousin said that Mr. Gresham might have work. Who might that be? That's uh, Ledell Phillips over in Jasper. I know him. When did you see him last? Oh, I saw him yesterday. I uh, saw the new baby. Lila says to say hello. Something wrong? What? I seen you in the woods with their gun, and uh, now, now I'm wondering you need to help. No, no, it's okay. Have you been here long? I came over the ferry in daylight. Oh, you look hungry. Yes, ma'am. I, I pulled a few of your grains. Oh. I was real hungry. I'm sorry. Well, it's all right. Well, you want to come on in? 
I'll make you some breakfast. You don't think Mr. Gresham will be home today at all? Oh, well, that's not likely. They're busy at the mill, what with the war and all. Yeah, that's why I thought there might be work. Why didn't you just look for Mr. Gresham at the mill? Oh, I did. Yesterday. He wasn't there. They said they didn't think it'd be likely that he'd be there today either. Them dogs been out there long? Have you seen them? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I had to fight them off all this morning. Once they get a scent. Listen, you could do me a favor. You name it, ma'am. Back in Paris, when you go to see my husband, can you find Sheb Shepard? He's my brother. Yes, ma'am. I intend to head back this morning. Please tell him that I want to see him just as soon as he can. Okay? Okay. Well, you can leave that. I'll do it. No, no trouble. No trouble. You sure you're all right? I can take care of myself. Well, I'll be off then. A Sheb Shepherd. He's the minister. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell him. And uh, if Mr. Gresham comes by again, you tell him about me, Bass, and Morris, and I'm looking for work. I will. I surely will. Thank you. Oh, Baston Morris, you want to take that axe along with you for the dogs? You could just leave it with my brother. Oh, no, ma'am. I don't think I need it. Thank you. Gresham, don't I? Just stay still. All right. I don't mean you no harm. And the axe? I have it. Oh. Well, what do you want with me? You're younger than I imagine. Oh. Now, Miss Gresham, oh. no, I'm not going to hurt oh. you. I don't, uh. Let's just go on in the house oh. now where we can be safe. Come on now. Miss Gresham, come, come on now. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on now. Let's get inside. Hi there, kids. How are we doing? Fine, Sheriff. The dogs are back again. Oh, they're just dogs. Well, Dad usually chases them. Well, I'm sure he'll do that when he gets the time. Don't worry.
I'd have to make a plan. Maybe go up river. What about me? I never hurt nothing. I didn't have to, but I always done what had to be done. So please, ma'am, it's no, no trouble. Else I have to do something I don't want to do, and I will. I'll do it. And that pained me. More than you know. So, did you fight with Pink in town? I wanted to talk to him. But one of the other boys, he got mad about the drinks and all. And he started to fight. Mr. Gresham pulled out this pistol. I think he wanted to shoot us. I mean, I think he was hoping to, you know what I mean? He could be like that sometimes. Make you feel real small. He was an evil man. But still, I tried to reason with him. I come over here real early this morning. I took his boat over and then took the other one back across and then rode back over myself. Last night, last night I followed him after he left the saloon. I saw where he went. There was a girl. I'm sorry. I thought you'd know about that anyway. I wanted to talk to him. I waited down along that path. But the dogs come, and I had to back off. And then Mr. Gresham come, and I stopped him down yonder. I said, Mr. Gresham, I'm Bassin Morris, Liddell's cousin. He just laughed, <laughs> called, called me trash, said I was trash, just like my cousin, just like my cousin's wife. He said things about Lila, about her baby. He said it was his baby. That's right. Now, I'm sorry, Mrs. Gresham, but you have to know why. And I said, I said to him, I said, you take that back. And he just laughed again, told me I was a dumb son of a bitch. Started to reach up under his coat for his pistol. I had the axe. I just swung it. There it was. I hardly didn't even. But it was done. God Almighty, I didn't mean it. I swear. Maybe. I'm not for killing Miss Gresham. Lord knows that. All I wanted was a job. They'll be coming to look for him. Not for a while, I suppose. I sent his boat to drift down river. Still, they'll come. One day, two. That'll be time enough. But they won't have me. Uh-uh. Never jail. Never. I can understand that. Locking up a bee in us. I'm not going to forgive you nothing. Nothing you did or might do. Blessed Master, we give thanks for this food which you have set before us, for our bountiful garden, and for these our children who are here with us now. 
We pray that they will grow in your service and be deserving of the love you offer so freely to us all. Bless their mother and father and our whole congregation. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, sounds like they're out at the smokehouse. Maybe they'll get in. They can't. Fix that. Tomorrow we'll take care of him. We should have done that today. It's cool enough out there. He'll be all right. Cold never bothered Pink. No, I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. I know that. I just said it. Blanket and a lantern. What? I need a warm blanket and a lantern to keep the dogs off. You're going outside? Yes, ma'am. That way I'll know where you are, but you won't know about me. Be safer that way. Be the dogs, man. 